I wonder why they did that. Jesus Christ, what happened here? What the fudge? My god, this person had a bad day. Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. Today we're playing Something Rush. It has been a late night and uh, there are some murders. And we're a detective trying to figure out what the heck happened. We're the detective in the case involving specifically three murders in just one night. The police are clueless about the killer. Is it a lone madman? Or is it a gangster? Or something else? And that's pretty much all we have to go on. Well, let's crack this case. So, we just kinda get on going. So first off, let's see, can I... Okay, can't just like say screw this and leave. Yeah, let's go look around. I guess this is gonna be the site of the first killing, right? Well, let's keep on looking. Let's go see what's around here. Ah, hello, T-Posing Tim. How you doing, buddy? Nothing to say there, huh? You must have really pissed off your captain if you got stuck on this job. Jesus Christ, what the fudge? The axe is still stuck in him. Why didn't they take it out? Okay, what about this? A leg? There's a pair of boots. Where's the other one? Oh, hey, look. I wonder if that was like the getaway vehicle. Yeah, what about you? Seems the tent has been overturned after the incident. I think it's time to go. Yeah, so that kind of lays out a little bit of what it is. It's going to be a bit investigative, and we got to figure out what the heck is happening out here. Let's move to the next spot. Wherever I go, I love this car. Okay, so he quite likes his vehicle. Mm, a quiet place. Ah, T-Posing Ted. Great. Must be part of a, yeah, a couple of twins who are working here. Interesting art. Okay. Well, let's hope that there's still not a killer out here. I mean, in theory there shouldn't be, right? If a cop is still hanging out here. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a really interesting... Uh, hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice to be able to, like, see through the trees and stuff, but... I wonder why they did that. Jesus Christ, what happened here? What the fudge? My god, this person had a bad day. Whoa, there are body parts scattered in the bushes. I wonder why they did this. What'd they do, hit him with a freight train? Pull out Thor's hammer Mjolnir and just bap them across the world? And more of these tires. I wonder why there are tire tracks here. Maybe they're in a rush. I didn't notice us putting those down earlier. His body was mutilated here. But where is his head? I don't know. Come to think of it, was the head on the other guy too? And I don't remember seeing a head over there. What are you? A hidden tire here. And there's blood. Interesting. And now it's time to go again. Can I? Okay, I can't just like tuck back around if to go up. Okay, so there's a lot about cars, and like the car was very front and center on here. Is it somebody who like drives over people to kill them? Maybe. Time to leave this place. The spoiled car needs to seems to need some maintenance. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, uh, what did you get up there? T posing. Uh, what was it Tim? Ted? Tom, I don't know, you're one of the triplets, I guess. Hey, I didn't do anything wrong. Well, that's why you shouldn't stick around and talk to the police. It's generally a bad idea. Alright, let's go look around here. What's up this way? Kinda like this game, though. It's supposed to be pretty short, like 10 to 15 minutes. Which I have actually noticed of late, and maybe you guys can help me with that. I've noticed a lack of good short indie horror recently. Yeah, I've noticed, um... It seems like a lot of stuff coming... Oh, okay. Coming out has been, like, longer... Has kind of been a little bit longer. Yeah. So if you guys know of any good games you'd like to see played that are, like, in that 10 to 20 minute range, feel free to leave recommendations in the comments. Let me know. It's for you and me. A tire is missing. This is terrifying. It's for you and me. I need to speak to the witnesses immediately. Jesus Christ, how many bodies? There are so many heads here. 
This is more than what we've known about. This is... Is it a dude, like, killing people with a tire? Okay. Maybe it's just straight up a ghost. Alright, where's my gun? Where did they go? The police car is still here. It's weird. Hold on, I didn't go looking around here. Uh... Oh. And there's two blood stains. I should probably get out of the road, actually. I'm starting to think this is... Hello, Skybox team. Um, starting to think that this is something else. Found me. Back to campsite. Okay, interesting. Huh. Weird. Okay, so this is... Hmm, I feel like we should maybe have... We should maybe do something else, right? Yeah, I feel like we should maybe do something else to, like, get, I don't know, get, uh, maybe call the missing cop in. That seems kind of important. Why is the road blocked? I'll be honest, I don't actually know. Alright, maybe I can go around here. Let's go see. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Oh, what the fudge? Okay. Oh. Run to the well. Be careful of the passing car. Wait, you're the problem? Oh, you dickhead. I'd be, okay. You know what I was going to say? I bet you liked me being up inside you, didn't you, you whore? Okay. I'm going to just stay out of this thing's way. So it said... What? Go to the... What? Where? What? What is... Where? Oh, oh, Jesus. What the fudge? Did I... I guess this way opens up? Oh yeah, I guess the car like drives through there. I'm trying to see, does the well say anything? Or not the well, does that... Well, I guess that maybe is the road to the well, right? Okay, so you go that way. Yeah, let me go... Okay. All right, oh Jesus, Jesus Christ. Wait, what? Uh, I don't know what killed me, but I did see a well there. Okay, let me go back. I'm gonna go see if I can go get through this. This is weird. I don't know what keeps killing me. Okay, get in the well, get in the well. Holy shit, that took so long. My walkie-talkie fell on my guns, too. I guess I have to call. Operator, 901, what's your emergency? Xander, this is Detective Xander speaking. I'm at a campsite. Alright, how can I help you, sir? I'm trapped in a well, holding onto the wall right now. How did you end up in the well, Detective? I can't explain it. Alright, I'll send a team over there right away. Please bring a large backup team. Why, Detective? You won't believe me, but there's a monster looking for me. What are you talking about, sir? Look, forget it, just send someone to help me out. Alright, please hold. Hmm. Why did my car become a monster, Damn it. Why didn't I just shoot it earlier? Ah, well, that's one of the cars that took good care of. Why didn't it become a monster in the beginning? Shit. Press E to climb out. I... I guess, yeah. If I just walk out and die... Where did he go? If I just walk out and die and I have to redo all that, I might rage quit. That took so long. Holy fuck. That was genuinely probably like 15 plus deaths. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fudge? What, Siren Head yoink my car over? You're eaten by your car as you try to leave. The case is unsolved until another detective steps up. Otherwise, the series of murders will remain a mystery. That was the bad ending. Okay. You're gonna really- okay. I, I wanna go in and see if I can get the good ending, because I'm curious what the difference is then. If you're really gonna make me go through and replay this whole game, though, you better have fucking pick. God, really? You're not even gonna let me just, like, go do it from the start? From, like, the start of this sequence? Okay, well, anyway, I'll be right back then for you guys. Alright, climbed on out of there. Um... Can I, like, just sneak out a side passage, maybe? Is that what I can go ahead and possibly do? I feel like... Oh? 
Oh, what's back here? Hold on. Oh, if I just get fucking sky glomped again, I'm gonna be furious. I'm out of here? Yeah, let's get the hell out of this place. You've made it out of the campsite, but the investigation is far from over. Despite no concrete evidence, you're still the prime suspect due to your car and are viewed with distrust. And that's the true ending. Okay, so there we go. That was both endings of Something Rush. I mean, developer, this was a really well done game. That was a hell of a plot twist. That ending sequence was fucking terrible, and you need to fix it. You need to do better. That's all I can really say. The game was great until that ending sequence. Um, in between the runs when I was actually getting really stuck, I watched some people. There's a number of people who said that this would just, they never finish it because of that. Only advice I have, jump a lot, run like hell, because it seems like you're on a really strict timer. But not really. Yeah, I don't know. It, that was a very frustrating sequence, and it kind of really wrecked an otherwise, uh, the ending of an otherwise decent game. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce your name, so I'm just going to say Flycat Games, you have a really good idea here. Just fix up the fucking endings. That's really all I can say, and if you're going to have multiple endings, let us just restart from the damn end of the chapter. That's all I want to say. Let Just restart us here at the end of the game. Make us redo that sequence if you really want. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really it. Great game that was really fun and really creepy and really enjoyable, marred by a terrible fucking ending. Um, or I should say ending sequence. So yeah, uh, I'm curious to see if this developer makes more games, if they can piece this, if they can fix this up and get it going. I think they could end up being one of the better indie horror developers out there. As long as they can go ahead and uh, solve these problems. So we'll have to go ahead and see. So thank you guys very much for hanging out and watching Something Rush. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how you felt about this one. And I look forward to seeing you all in another video very soon.